Welcome back, everybody. See what I see? I see little pink piggies running around in there. I don't know. I've been looking to see how they got in there. I don't think they've got... I don't think they can jump on this. But I did notice this. Now, I can't jump up on it. However... Pigs are shorter than me, so I'm thinking maybe that is how they're getting through. That's all I can think of. So we're just going to move that. And then we're going to try and get them back in their pen again. Of course, now I need to go get some leads. Well, I was just going to get some leads and go get my pigs and put them away. But look at this. Here and here and here. These are all Endermen. Endermen spawn. Look at that. The spore of the Endermen. Another one here. And how did you get in there? There. Oh, you must have jumped on that stupid Enderman. Oh, another one here. Stupid Enderman's dirt block. Got stuck in there. I wonder where you went to. See, everybody else is okay. Okay. Anything upstairs? No, this all looks okay up here. Ay, ay, ay. Now I'm out of inventory because I filled it up with dirt. And I need to get a couple of these. Uh, let's, um, well, we'll just hold the dirt over in that hand. And then I'll get a couple of leads in this hand. We're going to go get our pigs and take care of them. Those endermen, I just, I may have to end up putting like anti-griefing or something on. Let's get rid of the stone. I think that'll do. Because it's just horrible. And they seem to be getting worse. Here we go. You and you. Oh, I'm going to have to take you all the way out the other way, won't I? At least my cow crop is... Uh, or my herd, I guess it is, is growing pretty good. Okay, you little piggies. Let's get back in here. Oh. That's the same thing that happened last time. You must have got stuck on the door. Huh. Come on. There we go. Now hopefully they'll stay in there. If they get out this time, I really have no idea where they're going. Oh, what are you guys doing here? Where? Oh, you're behind there. Any good trades? Uh, nope, didn't think so. Blue ice is always useful, but six emeralds, that's just too much. Okay, you guys move along. So if we go in here, so this here, so this is where I'm going to set the dirt on top of. That actually does not need to be that. That needs to be dripstone. Dwee, dwee, dwee. Why did I think that didn't need to be drift stone? Now I'm going to have to rip the floor up to get under there. But I've got drip stone. Where's my other drip stone? So that's going to be drip stone there. And let's just fill in these walls are all going to be stone. Just plain old stone brick. 
I have a lighting idea where I'm going to try. So I don't need to worry about that. So let's just randomly sprinkle brick all over these walls. Kind of shotgun, scattergun approach it. Oh, I'm actually doing pretty good for just quick clicking because normally I'd have them stacked and stacked and I'd have to, uh, well, I'm starting to stack them then, have to uh, come through here and clean them up a lot. But overall, it's not that bad. Because I'm truly going, I'm just going for a straight, random, cracked, and normal brick look. No andesite or other gray blocks or any of that kind of stuff in there. Very, uh, very plain looking room. Get rid of those. Get rid of this. And then I need to go get some more dripstone. There. Okay. There's the walls. And I know where I can get some dripstone because I have a dripstone farm over here I need to tear down. So we'll tear that down while we're at it. So this hideous contraption is my old clay farm. So we're going to tear this down put it in its new location. Get all these. Let's uh, got some water here. Get rid of that. This little, this you know, it's a very small little farm here, but it actually makes. Look at that! I almost got almost got a whole stack of clay off of that. We'll just tear all this down. This should give me more than enough dripstone. And uh, I already have I already have enough uh, pointed dripstone pieces to put underneath it. But this should give me what I need. Plus I have some more in a chest over there. So I've got plenty. And finally I will get my area over here nice and clean. Because this thing has been an eyesore. And I have to duck every time I go underneath it. It's, it's such a pain. It came in handy though. Because I needed a lot of brick to build some houses. And I'm still going to need some brick to build some houses up on top of the hill. Because I think I'm going to build, not like brownstones, but brick, some brick type houses. Or at least use brick in the buildings up top there. Because I think brick houses look kind of cool. I mean for your house. Let's get this here, there, patch that back up. And I could even use this to build like a um, lava farm if I wanted to. Which I may do, I've got room up here, so lava farm is useful. It gives it enough uh, fuel, then you can you know, use it for fuel instead of coal. Right now I'm using coal and stuff. So I may put a lava farm next door so I can get some extra fuel and stuff. So grab all that. Will I have enough room in my chest? I got water bottle. No, I'm not going to have enough room in my chest for any of this stuff. I don't need the cobble. No, I don't need that in that. I can leave the rest of it. I'll just clean this chest up at a later date. And I still need to go through, you know, tidy up town. So I've got, you know, this pile of chests over here I need to get rid of too. This guy's still hanging around. Hmm. Okay, so this is where, so the dripstone will go here. Oh no, that's not right. 
Oh, no, that is right. Yeah, sorry. That is right. What's wrong is I actually put the whole wall in before I needed to because I need to. I have to take this wall out so I can put in my... I, I need to put in a water uh, source all along the top there. So let's... Um, Oh, and I, I abandoned the have the stuff in the center idea. So well, instead, we're just going to have our work station there. So if you come in here, you'll have like a workstation, a chest, 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 oops, double chest right there. And I also figured I can have furnaces like this, and then I can convert the clay into bricks if I need to. So we need to have some fuel there. Got a barrel in case I need it. Let's just put uh, the barrel and the dripstone in there. Oh, then we let's, let's might as well put the ceiling in while we're here. Ceiling doesn't need anything. So let's see if I put, I've got these copper lamps like that oops and then I thought some jungle wood not doubled up I I holy moly there put like a jungle wood ceiling in here am I going to run out I thought two stacks would be enough but maybe not and I distinctly or specifically explicitly deliberately left my jungle logs. Ah, oh, whoo! That scared me for a bit. Okay, so this is like one, two, three on that side, and one, two. Um, let's one, two it. And I don't, haven't played much with these copper lamps. I know there's some kind of, I think you can control how bright they are. I haven't, but um, I do know you turn them on with a power source, but you don't need to leave a power source on them. So that was kind of nice. Unlike redstone lamps where you have to continually put the power source on there. These, you just have to hit it once. And I think the power level determines the light level, but I can't swear to that. And I don't have, if I had some redstone, I'd play with it right now. But let's not get distracted. Let's get working on this. So this area here, let's get this here. Let me clear out and show you what I mean by water block. It's so silly, I didn't realize this beforehand. Okay, so what I was going to do is this. So if I put these stairs facing upside down and away from the room, all you're going to see is this part here. And then you can uh, waterlog them. I don't know... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Waterlog them and the water won't run out. Then we can just put them all the way around. Like this. So what all this will do is give me a water source that I can fill up my bottles with. And the bottles are what I use to... To uh, turn the mud 
or turn the dirt into mud and then that will drain out and be clay. And I'm putting them at this level so it's at eye level. So I th should be able to just run along and easily grab the water I need and hit the dirt which is going to be here. At least that's the theory. I've not actually tested it out but sounds good on paper. Of course, now that I'm looking at this, maybe I wanted to do a fancier wall. But. It is what it is. Okay, I don't have any dirt. Let me get some dirt and stuff, because I'm going to need to bring some dirt over here. Oh, and then, I, yeah, and then I need to just waterlog. So, so I should be able to go like that. There and basically go every other one like that. Yeah, so the idea is I can just grab the water out of those and then use that to convert my dirt. Now the only other thing I need to do is put the pointy things underneath all that. Holy cow, I came right up the stairs. Right into these guys. They were literally standing in the doorway over there. Oops. Oh no, collateral damage. Oh my, what a shame. What a shame. Of course, I'm out of room. Okay. Yeah, I was coming up here to uh, finish stuff off, and boy, I came right up the stairs and ran right into him. It's almost like that uh, Star Wars Han Solo, where he run, runs around the corner and runs right into the group of stormtroopers. I mean, I, like, put on the brakes and go, holy cow. Luckily, I was also quick enough to hit record so you guys could see. Oh. And I think I pegged out my voice, so sorry if that I yelled or got too loud on that one, because a little bit of excitement. Whew. I was not expecting I was not expect no I was not expecting them to uh come out of nowhere. They were just they were all standing right here. It's like they knew I had been working on it and they knew I'd gone to get something and I was coming back. That's it. Oh, oof. okay. So now we can get back to work with my little pointed drip stone. So I think what I need to do is dig down like this. I don't know if it matters if there's nothing up underneath it, but. I'm going to leave this empty spot in here anyhow. There'll be no way down here unless I dig, but... Uh, let's fill that in there. Actually, let's do uh, that. Give me another light here. Almost should clear out this whole area, but I'm not going to right now. Whew. Still a little bit of excitement from uh, that near ambush there. So now I can do this. So this will wick the water out of the mud and turn it into clay. And if I want to use this as a, uh, a mud farm, I can do that too. So once you get this up there, you get your water bottle, and you get your dirt, and the dirt would go here.
Like I said, the completely manual process. That's why I put the water source right above it, because it's really quick just to click, 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 you know. There you don't have to go to a different water source. It's like right in front of you. You can't miss it. And look at that. We've already got clay. So it is rather small, but it will produce a lot of clay. Like I said, we got what? I think 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 28. So almost 30, so almost half a stack each time. And you can see how quick it is. So in no time at all, all this will be clay. Then I can just scoop it all up with my shovel. And we are good to go. And if I don't use a silk touch, it'll give me the uh, clay balls that I can use to make bricks out of. And even with this, this is a quick way to make mud. So if I want to make mud to make mud bricks and, you know, take the mud and mix it with the hay to make mud bricks, I can do that as well. So it is, it is rather square. Not much decoration to it. Oh, uh, let's see. We got a bunch of stone. Can I do anything with the stone? No, I can't do anything with the stone. Well, I can make the stone and the stone bricks, and I can make the stone bricks and the stone walls. And then I could. Do this. Yeah, it's just killing me that I have a flat textured wall here. That kind of emulates crown molding above it. Let's pick up all those extra blocks. Okay, it's not much, but I think I like it better than it was before. I don't know why that was nagging me, but that was just nagging me. I just had to put some kind of depth to the wall. I had to do something besides the square wall. Okay, there we go. So now we have it. We are all done for this build. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Um... I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.